Hi, this is Catherine with Foods That Heal You. In this quick video, I am going to answer the question, what's the best tea to drink? So what I'm gonna do is make this really simple and break tea down into two primary categories. The first category is the Camellia sinensis tea leaf, and that is, that's your green tea, black tea, white tea, oolong tea, that's one category. And then the other category are your herbal teas. So the first rule of thumb is always look for organic because these are tiny little leaf plants and these plants are going to absorb pesticides and herbicides. So it's really important that you, don't, you, that you do try to look for organic. Okay, so let's start with the first category with your green tea, black tea, white tea, oolong tea. Those are really popular and well known for their high antioxidants. The problem is they are also high in caffeine and fluoride. So if you're going to choose from that category, what you're gonna to wanna to do is choose from the uh, least mature leaf, which would be the white tea. The white tea is gonna have a clean, crisp taste. It's gonna be lowest in caffeine, lowest in fluoride, and highest in antioxidants. Next up from that is going to be the green tea is still gonna be high in antioxidants, but it's also going to be higher in caffeine and it's going to be higher in fluoride. And then black tea is at the top on as, a, as far as has a lot of caffeine, very low in antioxidants, and very high in fluoride. So as you can see, there's kind of like a cascade there. The, the black tea leaves are, they are the most mature. Next down from that, the green tea leaves are the next, and then oolong, and then white tea has the most antioxidants, the lowest caffeine, and the least amount of fluoride. So I would personally choose the white tea out of that category. And if you want a little extra flavor, you can always add things like fresh ginger, fresh turmeric, goji berries. You can add a lot of superfoods to those teas to actually increase their health benefits. Then the second category, category are the herbal teas, and they are going to be very therapeutic and medicinal. And I recommend the herbal teas for my detox programs because you can get herbal teas like dandelion tea, ginger turmeric tea, nettle leaf tea, burdock root tea. There's a ton of teas in the herbal category that can actually help assist in cleansing your blood and detoxifying your body. So again, and there's no caffeine in the herbal teas and there's no fluoride. So the herbal teas are really the best choice if you're going, if you like all different kinds of teas, go for the herbal tea. If you only like the first category, the category with the black tea, green tea, white tea, choose the white tea and just add some superfoods to that and you'll have a really powerful white tea from that category and that's low in caffeine relative to the other teas. I hope I made this simple, um, simple enough and didn't confuse it. I do have just a couple examples here that I have. Um, this is reishi tea, white tea. It's loose leaf. I like the loose leaf because you um, you get more, it, it's, it's more in its original form and you can kind of get more for your money when you get the loose leaf tea. And then I, I bought this little sampler pack. My husband likes variety, so <laughs> we're gonna try this little sample pack. But you can see there's different types. There's the green matcha, which you know, the green matcha has all, it's got a lot of benefits that people are talking about. But again, remember it's high in caffeine and it's gonna be higher in fluoride. Now this one's from Japan and Japan has naturally has lower amounts of fluoride in their soil. So that's another tip. Look for Japanese tea and that automatically brings that um, uh, fluoride level down. And then this is just basic green tea. I use this for my, when I make my kombucha tea, because when you make homemade kombucha tea, you have to use something from that first category, the black tea, green tea, white tea, or oolong tea. And I'm probably gonna switch over to white tea now that I have more information about it, but that's your, that's your general way to make the decision and determination what the best tea is for you. And hope this video was helpful. I will catch you in the next video. If you have any questions, you can email me at foods that heal you at gmail.com and check out my website, foods that heal you.com. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.